So because the Mindfulness starter deck is new, I think we will go with that one. It's pretty good too, if you ask me now. The persists are really nice. <laughs> and we got another one. Okay. Uh, interesting set of cards here. We got the new surprise attack. This is like actually maybe good now for this kind of start. It's gonna be pretty light on damage. I like maneuver as a good ability chain enabler. Ready reprisal, kind of mixed on it. It's good if we can upgrade it. Uh, but I, I'm pretty happy with most of these cards to be honest. The surprise attack is a bit more experimental. Uh, multitask is pretty good on the She Starter deck in the late game. It's not very good right now, but we'll be pretty happy that we have this later on, I think. Uh, I guess I will roll the ready reprisal then. Ankle break. That's fine. That's not bad. Some immediate damage, potentially some slow. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Uh, what do we want here? Probably some block. We didn't get a ton of block. Okay, um, so that's either Better Future or Mirror Guard. Let's go with the Mirror Guard here. Mirror Guard is such a good mastery pick, almost always. Just a very good card in general. Okay. We got a Blood Library. Counter. Counter pretty good with stabilities. And I like to do Blackstone Persist a lot, so counter is like maybe a real consideration. We'll see where it is. Stoicism always good. We could do Squid Stance stuff, maybe. This is a big maybe. Um, I guess we'll note a couple more, but nothing that's like super enticing here. Some decent stuff. It looks like the Blood Library is on the menu. That's where the stoicism is? Hmm. That's the multitask. Okay. So if we hook around the top like that, ditch the extra multitask, we get to do this. That's pretty good. Obviously, we skip the uh, card pack. I do like the card pack, but the blood library can alleviate some of that. We'll be able to look at a lot of cards there. Probably get some pretty good ones. There's some very good uncommon cards we could find in there. Convergence has been one of the all-stars in my experience out of the new stuff. We'll be looking for that. I think this is the path, though. Nothing too outrageous here. Couple of chances to look for secret rooms. I guess this was a bug previously, but uh, it used to be you could only find secret rooms on the top of the map. I just kind of thought that was how they worked, but apparently it was a bug, and you're meant to find them on the bottom, and that's now been fixed. You can find secret rooms down below now, so we could check. It would cost us 10 health, probably not worth it. So I don't think we're going to. Uh, let's do the old switcheroo here, put in the good stuff from our starter pack. Uh, we'll put in the expensive guys. Uh, no real need to do triple persist right now. In fact, really early on, oftentimes, I don't even think double persist is particularly good because the fights just don't last that long. Uh, so I could take one out for a multitask, but also enemies aren't going to have any she really, so we'll just leave it like this. That should work just fine. Okay, so surprise attack now completely different. If the target is attacking, they get weakened, which is obviously nice because it reduces that damage. And if they're not, you get vulnerable, then 9, and then the 14 damage that just always happens. So... It deals a lot of damage, actually, in the very early game here. See, this guy just gets wiped out. You'd kill this guy, too, of course, just with the 14. So, let's just take him out and block like that. I'm... I, I don't have a ton of experience with the new surprise attack. That was a, a pretty late change. We'll see what we can make it do here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the opener... See if we can't increment our prayer beads one more time before we end this fight. 
Uh, I think she's just gonna die though, unless we get. Yeah, actually, okay, this this gets us there. Boom, prayer beads. Very nice. So the 20 health here is a perfect amount to get us back up to full. We don't really need essence. We're not going to anywhere to spend essence except for the class trainer. And we'll have shield bash, maybe a card from there, that chest, and our uh, surprise attack. Those would be the things we could offer him. It's pretty good to give him something just so you can get that chance with the Void Stone. Uh, we don't need the 500 Essence for that, though. And Shield Bash not particularly good in the uh, She deck because you don't really care about Vulnerable that much. Vulnerable does not affect She, only the Future Strike would be affected, and we have very little of that to start. Uh, I think I will just go ahead and take the, the nice easy heal here. Just give us a little cushion. Um, the we are gonna probably spend quite a bit of health in the blood library, so like maybe that's silly, but I mean the first elite can be pretty dicey on enlightened, right? Like if that's a corpse mound, we might be in some serious trouble. Might take a good chunk, so you know it's it's just a nice little buffer. I don't think I'm gonna miss the 500 essence all that much. Who knows though? Maybe we'll get a disheveled salesman on the second floor. Go ahead and get our card draw here. Not really what I wanted. Like at all. <laughs> okay, that's a good time to have three repeating deflections, I'll tell you that. Um, I think we just go all in here. Up, up, up. Uh, so I could get something back next turn. They will actually be fatigued. So if we draw the Persist or the Maneuver, we can just use it next turn and also benefit from the Rage. Uh, I think we'll chill in that case. Try and get some extra value here. Uh, okay, yeah, there's the Persist. So we can put back... The other persist, and then we'll go opener, get you with the first persist, which draws us the second one, and then we can finish you off, and you, with the beads still at two for the elite fight. Very nice. Let's see what's in the chest. Okay, a couple options here. Uh, Katic Blur, not too keen on that one. As I was saying earlier, we don't really want Vulnerable that much, and the block and slow is decent, but it's tied to the opener effect, and that's got a lot of competition with our stabilities. Uh, it's really bad to draw into this off of Persist, right? This is one of those rare cards that could do literally nothing when you play it, right? <laughs> it Both of its effects are conditional. So if you play a follow-up and draw into this thing, it's, or sorry, if you play a Persist, and draw into this thing. You missed the opener already, and since Persist is an attack, well, you're not going to get the follow-up either, unless you have a ability that you can play in hand, so... <laughs> pretty awkward card for us. Definitely a no. Wait for it and Better Future are both pretty okay. Uh, Better Future, probably the more generally useful card. If I had any particular reason to want Echo Wall or Foresight, I might be interested in this. You know, maybe there's a decent chance we're getting expensive stuff at the Blood Library. Several of the rare and uncommon cards are expensive, and so we might want to foresee them. This isn't really the best way to get Foresight, though. It's just one Foresight on a two-cost card. That's pretty expensive. So I think I'm just going to take the Better Future here. Hard to go wrong with Better Future. Uh, the Surprise Attack upgrade, by the way, it's, it's pretty interesting. It removes some of the conditionality, so all it does is it checks if they're attacking for the weak, but then the vulnerable and all the rest of the damage becomes unconditional. Pretty funky. I'm not going to invest an upgrade in this thing, though, because it isn't sticking around long term. It's just useful for the upcoming elite and maybe one or two fights after that. That's all I would give it credit for. 
So we could definitely go for the better future upgrade, since it's going to upgrade other cards for us and kind of get us jump-started a lot faster that way. Alternatively, we are about to get a Black Stone, and Black Stone Stoicism is a very classically good combo. Next upgrade would be here. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. I love Black Stone Stoicism. And now that it's upgraded, it's a playable card. <laughs> All of the stuff that has desync on it until you upgrade it, I find it's kind of similar to the cards that don't have rebound until you upgrade them. Uh, they're just, they're very awkward to make use of. It's a huge benefit being able to remove that keyword. Um, we'll get that in there. What do we take out for the stoicism? This is probably where we take out one persist, I think. Right? Well, I mean, the Elite fight's gonna last a little bit longer, actually. I will drop a stability. We'll put the Persist back in. And thinking about Shield Bash, just for Ankle Break Surprise Attack, just for having a chunkier block. I actually think I like it. We'll do that. Vaguely considering even the third Persist, but probably not. Two Persists should be plenty. Hmm. Okay, we got some interesting choices here. So we got two she-related relics, and then we just got the sweaty palm. This is pretty nice right now against this elite. Getting the weakness down is a big deal. It's really good against Corpse Mound just because he hits hard. It's really good against the uh, Skeletal Mage because you don't want to take any damage to trigger his passive, and this helps you avoid that. It's not super great against Bruce. It's just okay. Uh, obviously, if you hit the fish with it, they get mad, but you don't probably want to be hitting the fish anyway, but we might, you know, we are a she deck, we might end up punching some fish, so, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe on this one. The sloth is definitely the best in the short term, this is going to deal a whole lot of she, uh, this would be really good against Bruce specifically, uh, the jade mantis probably has the longest term uh, like, the, the highest payoff in the long term would be Jade Mantis, because you pick up some heavy she appliers, and that's suddenly a huge amount of extra damage. Even just for the time being, you know, using it with, like, an ankle break is good, although that's very awkward, because it's a follow-up card, and all of our attacks deal she, except surprise attack, so it would be really tough to actually use that. <laughs> so, given that we took the heal, though, I think that means that this is where it pays off, and we can just greed and take the Mantis. I think that is what I've decided here. Uh, last thing to consider is if we want to slot, slot the blue stone into something. It would probably just be the better future. Because you want to upgrade better future eventually, I think. And being able to put a blue stone on a Vision 2 card is really powerful. You get one card now, one card later. That's very good. Uh, it lets it be a reactive tool as well as a setup tool. So I could just do that right now. But then it loses the ability to be set up for the next turn unless we want to hold a card in hand. I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. We'll take the J. Skeletal Mage. Okay. That's good, I guess. That's probably the best result we could have given that we took Jade Mantis. And he's usually the easiest in general to deal with as Enlightened. This opening hand is terrible, though. Persist, wonderful. <laughs> okay, I was hoping we would draw uh, our ankle break there so we could get the follow-up since we'd be in Zen. Didn't pan out. So these are eight total. This is also eight right now. Sure. There's the ankle break on the confusion turn, but we did get it with a uh, surprise attack. This is actually kind of a nice turn, honestly. We can even use the rage here, and I think I will, because it's a good chunk of damage coming next turn. I'd like to have my mirror guard for that. So we'll put the mirror guard on top, then we'll go surprise attack to weaken him. Now it's only 12 next turn. Then we can double the 10 she now, courtesy of our rage, so we're getting 20 she off this. That's a big chunk. And we'll just get some energy now. Okay, looking good. Uh, 
pretty straightforward turn here. Eighteen damage next turn should be just fine with that draw pile. Get some more energy, you make use of the stoicism. Echo Wall dealing pretty good damage back to him too. Okay, stoicism. The shield bash surprise attack here, pretty nice. We got some really nice lineups on the uh the damage part of our deck, as opposed to just the she stuff. Although here, if I use it, I will take some. Uh, which, honestly, it's probably fine, right? Because he's not attacking us next turn anyway. I should probably still play one. And then the health we lose doesn't matter, because we're not getting perfect bonuses because of our instability setup. And we'll be paying our health into the blood library anyway. So... The fact that he scales up really should not matter. He'll be dead before he gets to take any real advantage of that, and there's no downside to us losing current health. Sometimes it just works out. I'm not gonna bother setting up uh, beads anymore. We'll just end the fight now. Yeah, okay, so we ended up doing really well there. Did not need the extra 20 health in the least bit. Okay, and unfortunately we were just shy, two points away from getting our Void Stone bar filled up there. That's annoying. Oh well, it's it's not like we're in desperate need of that. We're cruising so far. Corrupted Ogre. This guy's a little annoying. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Let's go repeating, better future the repeating, maneuver into it just to purge it all anyway. <laughs> Good turn. Okay, well, the ankle break slow is actually pretty good here. Uh, and I think I will put back the repeating so we can get rage. This is a reasonable amount of damage now. Yeah, look at that. So next turn we have 5 guaranteed. Let's go ahead and make that 10 guaranteed. Very similar idea here. We don't actually care if we take some damage. We could drop all the way to like 30-ish and it, it won't matter. Uh, he is fatigued here, so the persist is live. And we're going to draw off the beads. Lots of card draw here. We'll keep drawing. Get our block. Might as well play this. We want the delay block anyway. Might as well not play these because the damage is pathetic. Uh, we still have our surprise attack coming. That'll be a pretty heavy hitter here. There it is. Lines up with the shield bash. But we do get the, uh, we get the vulnerable from the surprise attack itself. So we don't even need the shield bash. Not bad. Okay, the surprise attack. Putting in work. Putting in some pretty reasonable work. Almost makes me want to save it here. I mean, it's definitely not Maneuver. Maneuver is easily the best one of these. Uh, Shield Bash just as a chunky block card, like, has something going for it. Although, you know, we are picking up a counter. So that kind of pushes it down. I think we will just go with the Shield Bash. Show me something good. Deceleration. Ugh. Purple Stones are really nice. I'll give you that. Extra energy is always appreciated on Enlightened. Hmm. So, the upgrade on this one, making it vulnerable, not very high value. Slow on a single target is kind of not great. We technically have the ankle break to work with this. Ugh, I really don't like this. I'm going to roll it one more time. Only one more time, though. We'll take whatever we get after this. I mean, I guess we couldn't afford another one anyway, but... Uh, yeah, greenstone trance, I don't think so. <laughs> Bit of a fail there. Oh well. It happens sometimes. Wait a minute. No, okay, never mind. Uh, do we just put in the other persist here at this point? Do we do that? I feel like I don't. Stillness. 
Uh, it's a little bit buffed now, right? The the she is nine by default in Zen, which is a pretty reasonable amount. And the weakness isn't bad. I do like weakness. Um, let's see that or multi strike or multi task rather. I don't think I want the third persist. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do multitask. We also got our black stone, so I could just slap it in the stoicism immediately. But because the blood library is right next door, maybe there's a better candidate there. I'm not sure what we'd be looking for. Maybe like a uh, path to enlightenment or something. That's a, a pretty solid black stone. Uh, we'll wait though. I don't think we need the help. And again, lost health doesn't really matter right now. Ooh, this guy definitely might make us lose some health, though. Scary dude. Okay, I don't think I really care about the stability opener here, so let's just draw a card. That's not the best card I could have drawn. It's probably correct to play just one of these to get Mantis value, right? I mean, it's only three she, though. It's, it's pretty pathetic, if we're being honest. I think we're basically just going to pass turn here. We did not accomplish very much, but we at least get some echo wall damage. And he's, you know, he's getting closer to fatigue. It's worth considering. Okay, no card draw this time, no beads, no persist. So there's not really anything to do with the spell. I think we're going to be holding a mirror guard. Uh, I will still go Zen, though, just to do it. Just get some partial card draw there. Yeah, we'll just take the nine and we'll sit on the mirror guard. So, this is five, this is four. Okay, now we have the persist, he is fatigued, he's not attacking us this turn. Hmm. I mean, the surprise attack ankle break thing is, is pretty good. In fact, what if we do like this? What if we go... Actually, hmm, this is getting a little tricky. I think we'll start with this on the Persist for the Rage. Then we'll go Surprise Attack first, put the Vulnerable down. Ankle Break, benefiting from the Mantis. And then we'll go Zen with the Persist, which draws us another Persist. Which draws us Stability, and that's the kill. Okay, nice, we figured it out. And there's our counter. Uh, we do not have a green stone yet, and we're not going to get one for a little bit. Counter is really nice with stabilities, although in general it, you tend to trend towards wanting more ability chains with uh, the she starter deck as you go. But we could flip that on its head here. I mean, we do, we do have a black stone in reserve. Uh, we can put that in a persist. That's good with counter. We're about to go to a blood library, so that's really going to determine what we find in the blood library is going to determine if this counters what we want to play with or not. It does make the decision to upgrade a little awkward here, because if we do want the counter, we'd like to get it upgraded ASAP. But we got two more upgrades coming, so maybe we can choose to wait on this, maybe. In that case, the upgrade would probably be probably just the better future. Better future is a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, because then for the Elite, we... Yeah, okay, okay. We'll, we'll go better future. And after the Elite fight, then we can upgrade counter if we need to. What are we looking at here? Well, okay. Uh, circular logic is ridiculous. Mind Shatter is great for the end game, And Bulwark's just really good in general. It, it's very much pulling against the uh, counter. These, these cards don't really go together at all. They're opposites. The Enough Suffering is like also actually kind of worth considering. We might be a little slow versus Void, potentially, and who knows, are we fighting the Puppet Master? No, we didn't get Puppet Master. Okay, so that's always like a, a nice little cheesy free win, basically, is Enough Suffering versus the Puppet Master. Uh, but we'll definitely take a Mind Shatter here. I'll grab that. Uh, it goes really well with Circular Logic, and this is just a good card in general, so we'll take that too. And we are highly incentivized to grab a third one so we can get the Blood Pact. Blood Pact is really good, especially with the Circular Logic, because it goes back into the deck. You get to keep getting Blood Pact value. So we get to choose between these three, huh? 
the remaining cards we're getting not a lot of block cards there is the uh the squid stance squid stance would be nice with bulwark i'm not sure we're gonna bother with squid stance at all to be honest at the rate things are going it costs four more max if we take the enough suffering compared to reach through time reach through time's quite a bit better now that it's cheap even going all the way down to zero but uh I don't know how much value we place on the vision effect. If we go all in on the counter, we might have very few abilities to be hitting with the reach through time. It might whiff sometimes, or it might be having like only one target that we don't really want to put back. Uh, I think I will actually just take the enough suffering in that case. Uh, we're not going all in. I don't usually recommend going for the blood receipt of the reckless. Unless the cards are like really good or your deck is just like in great shape already. Yeah, so we'll, we're chilling here with 31 health. That's a pretty reasonable amount. Uh, versus the Elite, we probably do want Mind Shatter because it's really, really good against Corpse Mound and it's reasonable against Bruce if we find it early enough. Those are the two guys we might be fighting. What we take out is actually getting kind of tricky at this point. The Ankle Break, pretty big bad against Corpse Mound, but it's pretty good against Bruce. Surprise attack, uh, not the best versus Bruce. Pretty good versus Corpse Mound. He takes a lot of turns off. Do we even bother to put in the counter? I probably should. Honestly, I probably should. Yeah. I think we might just be going full counter, which probably means Blackstone persists instead of Blackstone Stoicism. Regular Stoicism, still pretty good though. Strong card, okay. Yeah, we're gonna do Blackstone Persist. We're gonna do, I guess we'll cut a stability for the Mind Shatter. Circular Logic, I want to come in. We can drop some repeating deflections if we want, now that we have counter. Although it's not greenstoned, so I don't wanna go too low. Hmm. Okay, I'll take out one more. This is a little bit sketch, but I'll do that. And then the counter... How do we get the counter in here? I, I want to cut a stability, but then that makes the counter worse, of course. And I don't li like I said, I don't want to go too low on my pure defense cards. A little bit sussed out by having all these expensive attacks here. Like, that's that's kind of scary. The Ankle Break has actually come through with the Jade Mantis a lot more than I would have expected, though. I guess I'll cut one, the, the one Persist that doesn't have a stone. Let's try this, and now that the Better Future is upgraded, we will put the Blue Stone on that. This should be enough power to take down this Elite. What are we looking at here? Uh, the Crown? Very mediocre for what we have going on right now. It's the attacks that are expensive, not the abilities. This is the only ability we have that costs more than one, so probably not. Uh, Seer's Eye is really good on Enlightened. That one free turn gets you closer to your uh, your fatigue coming into play. It's also nice if we're spending our first turn playing an expensive buff like this three cost uh, counter. Penitent of Focus is fine. We don't particularly care about going in or out of Zen one way or another at the moment. Obviously, it's generally good, but uh, I think I'd rather have the eye. I think the eye is going to do a lot for us. Even though it doesn't help us at all during this fight. Okay, it is Corpse Mound. And he's not attacking, and we got Surprise Attack Ankle Break again. It just keeps happening. This has been a really effective two-card combo for us here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Just get the Vulnerable down. Get that fat 16 she, courtesy of the Mantis. That is juicy. Now I'm wondering if we're gonna bring one of these back. How are we gonna draw a card next turn? Not by prayer beads. Maneuver, stoicism, that's it. Yeah, that's it. But if we draw the better future, we can use that instead of the spell. Okay, no spell. Whoo wee, what a hand. Wow, this this is awful. <laughs> this is a horrible hand of cards. Jeez. The 
Persist does not draw. Yeah, there's very little reason to actually, like, go in here. If we just go double Persist down to two energy purge, purge, that's probably as good as it gets versus spending three energy and then purging this to have two. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather just do this. I don't want this. Uh, if I had any good block in the discard pile, I'd put it back, but I don't. So instead, we're just hoping that we pull the right cards. There's a lot of good ones. Okay, well, we have a maneuver. Hmm. Can maneuver into the persist. So it's stability, stability, stability to go zen. And then we'll maneuver for free, which draws persist. We can double play the persist. Yeah, that is definitely the play. Okay. Oh, I guess we can multitask him instead of uh, stability. That's going to be better, right? Yeah, that's way better. Okay. There's the Zen. There's the maneuver. Draw. Ooh, counter. Hmm. You're a little bit late to the party, counter. I was kind of hoping to see this or this. I think we still just play this. I mean, what the heck else am I doing? Mind shatter. Okay. Sure. 45 damage. That's pretty good. We take a, a big chunk there. Ow, that's half our health. It's corpse mound, though. What do you expect, right? Okay, and here's all of the defense, of course. Uh, let's grab ourselves an upgraded mind shatter off of this better future. So first we put the one that we don't want. Then we put the one that we do want. We draw that one immediately. We can get rid of you. And this just kills. It doesn't quite... Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. He's so close. Um... Hmm. I don't want to do this. We can just wait around and try to have vulnerable next turn, although our energy problems aren't really getting any better. That's so close, dude. <laughs> Is it just like a visual thing? Am I? Let me actually do the math real quick. Because he's got... 134... Minus the 71. Puts him at 63 effective and then minus the 15 puts him at 48. Now that is enough. Yeah. Okay. That could have been a lot worse, but it worked out. We still took a lot of health, but it's a corpse mount fight. I will take what I can get. Ritual not going to be too useful here. This purple stone is going to be useful. Now that we have counter, uh, we'll definitely be hanging on to at least a couple stabilities, and a purple stone stability is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. I think it's time to lose the ankle break for another persist, now that we're out of that elite fight. Thinking about the third one. Actually, you know, yeah, let's, let's take out the mind shatter again, too, for the time being. Since we're just doing regular fights now. Like, if this is a dragon whelpling, I guess I'll, I'll wish that I had it back in, but we have blind spot on. We don't know what we're fighting. Odds are it is not a single target fight, so we'll leave this out. And that should work reasonably well. Okay, there's the purple stability immediately. That's pretty good. Uh, who do we want to go after first? I'm actually thinking we're going to go after the right guy first. And we might as well do this. Get a little bit of block. Nothing worth putting back. I am glad we left out that mind shatter. Though. Hopefully the next fight is going to be one of the more dangerous like single target ones because we're going to have the Seer's Eye. In fact, actually, let's think about the boss fight, right? It'll be stealth, no stealth, stealth, no stealth. Hmm. Not ideal. I really don't want to skip this fight, though. It's got an upgrade point, even if the card is not phenomenal. I mean, delay is not that bad, but we're probably not going to make much use of it anyway. Okay, uh, the counter is in the bottom half of the deck again. Feels bad. At least we have Mirror Guard. 
So let's not finish you off yet. This will apply a debuff, which I actually don't want. But we can't really avoid that, so we'll put it on you. Because you're not attacking. Stoicism, sure. Circular logic. On the counter, I guess, right? <laughs> I mean, it's it's reasonable. Yeah, circular logic on... We'll, we'll put back a persist at this point. We see the counter, although we're probably not going to need it at the rate things are going here. I'll tell you that right now. Because we can almost certainly just get the double kill here. And that should wrap it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, do, we, do we even need any block at all? We definitely don't. We just go hit, you're dead. And then come after you. Wrap it up there. Okay. Not bad, not bad. This upgrade point... What do we want to do with it? We're still a good ways away from that green stone, man. This thing... It's gonna take ages to get to it, it feels like. Are we gonna have it before the boss fight? I sure hope so. Reasonable chance to just draw into it early anyway, especially when we have stealth, right? We kind of get a free turn. So I think I will go ahead and just put the upgrade into it. The squid stance here, probably not going to happen. Uh, the deck is just moving away from that kind of thing. Yeah, no changes to make here. I, I could have put in Ritual. Oh, Treasure Goblin. Nice, you love to see this guy. Uh, it's probably better to just get the Vuln here, right? Rather than get an extra stability. Yeah, okay, get the Vuln. And then we'll just hit, hit. Increment the Zen. Put the uh, surprise attack back, actually. The surprise attack is going to be really strong against this treasure goblin. Because he never attacks, which means he always takes vulnerable. That is pretty good. And in fact, give me back that surprise attack. Blam. Absolutely executed. Okay, nice little freebie there. Uh, this time... It, it was a definite waste of our stealth, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, well. That's gonna happen sometimes. Yeah, we actually have a couple of anti-affliction cards here, huh? It's interesting. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and just roll into this fight as is. It's not a dragon whelpling, so I'm pretty happy about that. Just take the easy Zen entry. And I could just hold the Mirror Guard, or I could go Circular. I think this is actually a pretty good time to hold the Mirror Guard, so... Back into the deck with you, Circular. You can show up again when the time is right. It'd be appreciated. Okay. Um, is this just an ability chain kind of situation? Not really anything good to put back with the circular logic is the problem. Even though I would just like to use it just to foresee counter. Like, these are all very bad cards to put back. I guess I could put back the stoicism though, actually, huh? I can just go stoicism, circular the stoicism, foresight on the counter, mirror guard? That kind of works, yeah. Okay. Definitely don't want you... Playing this just for overcharge and purging this could be nice. Otherwise, though, that is a lot of she. We have not triggered our Jade Mantis yet. I am really blown away by how often we've been doubling the ankle break with the Jade Mantis. I thought it was going to be, like, very awkward and difficult. Turns out, it is actually easy. Show me the counter. No, well, good lord, this counter has just got a weight attached to it. Sinks to the bottom of the deck every time. Okay. We are able to draw with persists at this point, though, so why don't we go ahead and circular back one of them? Foresight on the only expensive card left. Then we can just draw into it with stoicism, go zen with the repeating deflection. There it is! So kind of you to show up, counter. Taking your sweet time. And now the persists are popping off. Get this guy real close here. 
we've got almost all the delay block we need. This would get us there. We could also put him in range of a kill next turn. Uh, we probably are just going to be killing him one at a time here, I think. So, yeah, let's just do that. Get a bunch of delay block. Go back up to full energy here. And think about if we want to use our spell. What would we like to have back? Probably the Blackstone Persist. That thing's pretty good. We can just get it with better future. Yeah, we'll wait. There's a chance we could get all three of them. There is a chance. Oh, the Echo Wall. Whoops, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's my bad. We do have Surprise Attack here, though, which is a lot of damage. Although only on this guy. Yeah, maybe, maybe we do just go after this guy, though, huh? Block is more than accounted for already. Not gonna draw with prayer beads. Okay. So let's just go better future, then. Put back... Let's put back the Blackstone Persist and the regular Persist. We'll ditch you. And then we'll draw off of these guys. And then I'm actually going to put this back again so that we get the Rage now. Yeah, okay, here we go. We're, we're actually going to go crazy this turn. Look how much damage this is all of a sudden. Absolutely enormous. And then we'll just kill you. The She Cascade is somehow not enough to get you. I really thought it would be. We're off by two. That's what I get for not actually doing the math. And you're not attacking to die to Echo Wall this time. Darn. Either way, I don't think one more uh, Infecti respawning here is a big deal at all. We're actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, we're in great shape. Now we take you out. And then you're dead to this. Get the rest of our block. Okay. Good stuff. Just the corpse mound that caused us uh, any issues at all so far. He was definitely a bit of a problem. But he always is. Okay, rinse and repeat. Also probably not really what we're going to do with this deck, I don't think. Uh, at this point, I'm starting to feel like the third persist is actually kind of good. I mean, especially on the times when we have uh, stealth. It's definitely going to be good. I think I might actually get rid of the fast forward. Yeah, I'm actually going to get rid of the fast forward here. Call me crazy. But, like, fast forward is good because it gives you immediate block, which can be difficult to find in the starting deck normally. But the counter is going to be a whole bunch of immediate block. So we'd rather be able to have the opportunity to build up delay block, whereas this thing eating is not what we want. These guys will block for us on future turns, and this will block for us on the current turn. Forge Soldier, this guy is such a jerk. Let's see if we can find the counter early on for once. We do get to draw a card here off of the beads. Can't find it yet. Uh, have a moment to ask. Come on, man, where is it? Jesus. Okay, no more way to draw cards at all. So this is just purely a damage turn, I guess. Slash we can get five delay block, which is probably worth it. Let's just go for the easy zen here with the blackstone. Might as well do the delay block. We could put back a persist for next turn. It's actually kind of good to do that, I think. It's actually quite good, isn't it? Unless we draw this, or this, or this. Actually, never mind, it's not good. It's not good at all. We've not been using the spell at the end of turn very frequently. Almost always mid-turn here. Okay. Yeah, okay, there's better future stability. I don't want to do this. He is attacking. So the surprise attack makes him weak, which is actually quite useful for us. Like, very useful. Bottom five cards. You piece of garbage. Okay, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? 
this gets us Zen. For block, then, we'd have to go... This is four. Since we don't have counter, we do actually need to generate the rest of the block. Legitimately. We're probably just going to go better future with persists to draw a bunch. I think we just got to roll the dice, to be honest. So we'll go stability, stability, surprise attack for the next turn. Better future, grab this and this. Goodbye, ankle break. Draw cards, stoicism. Okay, good. Very good draw there. And we actually went all the way out of Zen. At this point, this is what's coming up next. We know we're going to have counter, so we might as well. We might as well get this back and make the counter free. That's going to more than make up for the energy we don't have because of purging. And we can use the spell next turn. Okay, yeah. This guy's kind of scary always, but uh, I think we're going to be all right here. Turn four, getting our power into play. Love it. Okay. Pop the bubble. Do some drawing. Do some more drawing. More weaken seems good. I don't need the maneuver. Overcharge seems good. Uh, circular logic to get back the Blackstone Persist seems good. I didn't even use the spell. I got caught up. Um, we'll foresee the only expensive attack. Yeah, it sh we should be totally fine here, so... Once the counter's actually in play, we're, we're in good shape. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this now, then on the other upgraded persist. Just go hit. 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 Can't increment the beads. Oh, no, we can. Yeah, we got, we got one there. Okay. Okay, that was alright. What do we want to upgrade now? Uh, this is a good upgrade now that it has a blackstone. Um, circular logic purge effect can be pretty good. I don't feel like we really need it, to be honest. More block is nice for the immediate. Uh, well, I mean, we are getting the green stone soon-ish, right? Like, I feel a little silly about having upgraded a mirror guard once we do have a green stone on the counter, or if we just get... I wouldn't even say get lucky, but don't get horribly unlucky. Yeah, okay, so none of these are, like, really screaming out to me. I think we'll just take the persist upgrade here. This is a card we always want to upgrade at some point. Uh, and the yellow stone will definitely go into another stability. Because if we've got the counter in play, it's getting three block per, and so you add the yellow stone in, that's seven. This is potentially 14 block all by itself. That's insane. Very, very good. Uh, so because this boss could potentially be giving us quite a few afflictions, it might actually be wise to just put in the enough suffering. If it's the... Uh, uh, the Swamp Witch, enough suffering's really good. If it's Bertha, enough suffering's pretty decent. Yeah, this is like actually a pretty serious consideration here. Again, though, what to take out, huh? What to take out? Maybe Ankle Break. Ankle Break is probably not really needed anymore. We want cheap attacks now. Okay, it's these guys. Yeah, I mean, these guys also give you Banes. And look at that! Counter on turn one. They said it couldn't be done. Uh, this is a bad matchup for us in general, though. Obviously, two threat every time we draw a card. We draw quite a lot of cards sometimes. Quite a lot of cards. Um, I will just go ahead and throw this down, though. We might take a hit here at the very start. This is still a net positive to play, so I will play it. Yeah, okay. Not the most exciting turn there, but it's fine. We got the buff down. That's what matters. This is really, really good because typically you struggle to get block in the middle of your turn as enlightened, and so that makes this a very hard fight. But we have a really good way to do that now. And check this out. Plus one HP. Insane. Okay, uh, I think we definitely want to kill some crows here. So I will do that. As for the circular... Foresight on the mirror guard's good, I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. And we can put back... What do we want to put back? We're going to draw immediately, right? So... 
Let's just put back the upgraded persist in that case and just get more damage. I think you're dead now, right? Yeah. And sure, we'll put some on you. Okay. Now we've got fatigue on him. I don't know how many more crows we're going to kill. We don't want to really go after crows anymore. Yeah, here's that Yellowstone stability. Although we definitely want to finish this guy off. I'll say that much for sure. So we'll just go hit. Hit. Now is, it's time to consider our spell. What do we want to put back? Surprise attack to get vulnerable on him is kind of nice. Sort of. It's it's okay, I guess. It's it's not all that great. Let's be real. So what, just another persist? More card draw? I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight for you now. We're gonna draw a lot of cards here. This is about to be so much card draw. Just look at it. Pouring in. Um, I want to put something back. Better future for some upgrades is pretty good. Yeah, you know, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's put back the Blackstones disabled here. Let's actually just get the other two persists upgraded. Seems pretty good. Uh, I don't think I want the circular right now. Let's get rid of you. There's the mirror guard. Don't really need it right now. We can just do a second Zen entry here. Can't actually take advantage of it, but it does still increment the beads. At bare minimum, every time you go Zen, you're drawing one third of a card. Okay, uh, he's adding more Banes. So at this point, the Enough Suffering is going to be pretty good. We're going to have five Banes total, right? Or wait a minute. Did he only add? Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. We're going to have four Banes total. Go ahead and get some delay block here. Draw a card. Don't really need the mirror guard. So I think we're just gonna purge it and chill. Not a very eventful turn. Might be worth starting to think about killing this guy since he's kinda low now off the echo wall there. I think we're just gonna do the enough suffering this time though. Although there's nothing left to draw, so we can play whatever else we want first and then enough suffering at the end. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and kill you. Let's take you out. And then we'll start drawing with the persists. We're in Zen now, so we can get back the Blackstone persist, right? Wait, where is the Blackstone persist? It's in there. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so in that case, we'll just go for both of these. Get rid of the Bane. Boom. Uh, we're still a little ways out from leaving Zen. Okay. And then we'll enough Suffering, and we can just purge both of these for full energy next turn. He's about halfway dead. I think that basically is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, like this looks like a lot of damage, but again, right? Like this one Yellowstone stability just cleans up. Uh, think about the spell real quick, though. Yeah, we will use the spell. We'll use the spell before we do this. Put back persist. Look at that block. Ridiculous. So strong. We can circular back a persist. Why not? Foresight on the maneuver, because we're going to play the Persist immediately, and it's already free because of Zen. We might actually make use of the Zen saving on this thing. Actually, you're just dead. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Surprise attack for the win, and we are almost back to full health. Quite nice. What do we have here? Two upgrade points, huh? That's pretty appealing. Some extra max health to recoup that what we spent at the Blood Library. Not the worst thing. Paper Talisman is pretty good in general. Hmm. If we took upgrade points, where would we put them? Maybe just on the stabilities. Maybe on the multitask? The multitask gets quite a bit better. 
Uh, I, I do like upgrade points, it's true. I think I'm just going to take the upgrade points. And we're certainly not going to spend on a health pot. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do these guys. These are pretty dang good cards. We're going to want to keep them around. Might as well get more value out of them. All right. I'm going to take a real quick break. Be right back, guys. All right, we're back. Let's take a peek at the map rewards here, huh? Okay, I see a reverb. That's immediately interesting. I also see a no condo. Potentially a very cool uh, combination there with how quickly we're cycling through the deck. We could keep a lot of echo wall up with the, uh, the no condo. We have already the stoicism and the echo wall or the, the mirror guard giving us echo wall. So, that could be a pretty good option. Also worth noting, of course, that anything which applies fatigue immediately is quite good in this deck now. In the, uh, the She Starter deck, that is to say, because of the starting persists that you have. Making sure that these things are live ASAP is great. So, you know, your, your run raggeds, your, uh, your punching bags and stuff. Not like that wasn't already great, but it's even better now. So we'll look at that. Um... What else are we looking at here? Huh, that's kind of almost it, isn't it? <laughs> that kind of feels like it. I, I mean, this would be nice if we could grab it and upgrade it. I have no idea if we're going to be able to spare an upgrade point to that, leaning towards probably not. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll look at it, but this is kind of all I'm really focused on here. Um, otherwise, there's our Soul Collector. Must have found in a very awkward position here, because it looks like we're just going to be coming up this way. Probably take this even, because we get to go to a shrine, and then we get to hit all of these nodes we want. So I think the Lost and Found might have to just be a skip. Um, don't think we care about the Dark Mime. Do we want to go to a merchant? I'm not sure we do. Look at all these upgrades we can get if we just go straight down here. Uh, actually, no, let's screw that guy. Let's get the stone smith, huh? I want some stones. We're not spending our money literally anywhere else until the Well of Stars if we take this path. So we might as well at least get like a void stone or two. Uh, I would kill 
for another Blackstone right now. This deck would go off even harder than it already is, especially if we do get the uh, the whole reverb thing going. At that point, uh, Blackstone in our Stoicism is almost just a must. It's going to be really good. Uh, let's take out the Enough Suffering for the moment. I'm kind of thinking about Rinse and Repeat with all of the Persists and stuff, and even just with uh, Stoicism. Stoicism, Rinse and Repeat, Stoicism. That's a great combo. I think we could actually use this Rinse and Repeat pretty well. I wouldn't mind upgrading this guy either, getting some more Overcharge there. That could be pretty good, actually. Something to think about. Uh, also, of course, worth noting, we do really want to upgrade the Mind Shatter. Actually, do we really want to upgrade the Mind Shatter? Maybe we don't care about upgrading the Mind Shatter. Plus 5 Shi is good, and obviously being able to double that so that it's an effective plus 10 Shi with the Jade Mantis is really good too. Um, but it mostly is just all about the solo effect dealing damage, so... Hmm. Yeah, maybe we don't need that upgrade. Okay, well, let's get started here. Sink our teeth into Act 2. Wow, what a hand. <laughs> what a turn to have stealth on. I could literally just play better future just to use the blue stone effect here, huh? I think I will. Stability, great. <laughs> oh boy. I sure am in a situation. Let's get that back. Um, What are we even going to do here? I guess. I guess we're just putting both of those back. We'll do this and this. Get the rinse and repeat. Discard this. Play the rinse and repeat for another better future. Um, go better future. Put back this and this. Discard that. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> you can see some of the funny stuff that rinse and repeat allows. We haven't really accomplished very much by doing that. We've upgraded a few cards. We've gained some overcharge. If we didn't have stealth, I, I definitely would not have made that play. Okay, this hand also sucks. What is going on? All of my good cards are just hanging out at the bottom of the deck, man. The stone stability is this, 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 this. Even the surprise attack still. Ugh, double persist, unfortunately, just not cutting it right now when they don't have fatigue. Nevertheless, I would just like to go zen here. Uh, and we will go after you, most of our attacks do care, or most of our damage are, is attacks, so it does care about the taunt. So we'll go Zen, we'll go ahead and get some nice delay block there, and I think we just surprise attack you for massive damage, right? Maybe even get some rage in the mix, huh? Let's get some rage in the mix. You guys will have fatigue next turn, so we'll snag the persist. Extra damage there, purge this for full energy. Fighting these guys as early as we are, uh, the health pool is pretty low, so it's not that concerning. Although this dude can be tricky once he has uh, a bigger amount of health to work with. Yeah, it doesn't look like it matters that the counter was so low in the deck this time. That will not always be the case, though. I, I'm really eager to, to get this freaking yellow or uh, green stone. Sometimes you just don't find them early, man. This is where the uh, new I forgot something modifier really hurts. Just the fact that you look at one less stone over the course of your run means that if you're trying to find any particular color, it can end up taking quite a bit longer. Hey, Lunga Fermata. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream chat. draw some damage or should we just circular back? I think we should probably just circular here actually. As many good cards as there are to still draw in the deck. Let's just take the consistent option here. Finish you off. There's the counter. We can throw that out and we don't need any of those. You a uh, vault fan, Lunga? I assume you are. I don't imagine a lot of people would be stumbling into this kind of stream if they didn't know much about the game. We got a second Drowned. That's pretty nice. I always prefer that over Bloated. So let's just go after you now. This should actually be pretty easy. Relaxing a little bit before bed. Cool, man. Taking it easy. Uh, should I... 
Should I circular again? I think I will just keep circularing. Keep going for the Blackstone Persist. Put some Foresight on it, why not? And... I, I guess I'll take the, the extra delay block there. Eight delay block. Yeah, we're just uh, doing some runs with all the new monk cards. We have not found much that's new this time around, although uh, the big star performer has actually been the surprise attack. This card used to be one of my least favorites by far. The totally reworked version, though, has actually really carried us in the early game, and it was even pretty good in this fight, too, starting out in Act 2, so... Big, uh, big improvements on the surprise attack. Yeah, are we actually using any other new cards right now, or like significantly changed cards? Obviously the, the whole starting deck has changed, so we've got the persists and stuff. We cut the, the fast forward. I think the other cards we're using are largely unchanged. It turned out Enlightened didn't actually need very many changes. He was pretty balanced. Okay, ooh, that is a clarity. Our first shot at some simple, no-nonsense foresight. Uh, circular logic is really good, obviously, but it's just one card, even though it does loop, you know? Sometimes you want to have extra. We might want to have extra. I think we want to have extra more than we care about uh, time warp and reconciliation. Neither of these really matter. So we'll just take the clarity, even though we're probably not, like, super keen on using it yet. And we want to be pretty smart with our upgrade here. So we were talking about the upgrade on Rinse and Repeat to generate a lot of overcharge. Could be pretty good. Mind Shatter upgrade, I think I'm actually less interested in. Persist upgrades are, like, okay. They're kind of a luxury. We don't really need them. Well, let's actually do the Rinse and Repeat upgrade, huh? I want overcharge. We're like halfway to this green stone. We've been fighting tooth and nail for this thing. Out of curiosity, Lunga, what uh, what difficulty do you usually play Vault on, assuming you're a Vault player? No stealth this time. Uh, do we want to just draw a bunch of cards? I kind of just want to draw some cards. Just put back one. Yes, there we go. Finally, the counter showed up early. Finally, that's like the second time I've gotten that thing in play turn one. And you know what? I don't think I need the extra delay block now that the counter's down. Okay. Uh, definitely double dip on the purple one here. Surprise attack is just for weakness here, basically. I mean, that's fine, right? That's not bad. I don't feel the need to use the spell yet. Definitely don't feel the need to hang on to this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the amount of overcharge we have going on right now. Just between the one upgraded stability and that rinse and repeat. I think it'll be pretty easy to get that plus one energy per turn going. There's our rinse and repeat. So we can guarantee some good stuff here. Two or three rents from mastery sticking with hard. Yeah, hard is, I think, like a, a good baseline difficulty. Normal mode is a little easy, but uh, hard, hard mode is pretty, pretty solid to just crush out runs on if you're doing masteries and stuff. I-50 is, is pretty pretty wacky. <laughs> Do we want to spell something yet? I think we want to wait to spell until we get the rinse and repeat, right? Actually, no, here's what we're going to do. We go Blackstone Persist, spell back the original Blackstone Persist there. Then we use the Ghosted Copy. Then we use this one. Now we get the rinse and repeat. We can get it back again. Hit you, shuffle the deck, persist, put back this one again, uh, foresight, I, I, I don't know, I guess surprise attack, this one doesn't really matter. Oh my god, dude, the amount of card draw and deck cycling is frankly obscene. 
Can I be able to get the kill on you here, maybe? This is 15, but it's not a future strike turn. Let's get rid of that then. And let's just better future one of these infections away in that case, huh? Yeah, better future for Black Persist. Upgrade that one. Get rid of that. I, I guess we might as well draw one more there and almost get the kill there. Not bad. Yeah, and look at the overcharge uptime, man. Not going anywhere. Very nice. Who's your favorite character, Luca? Out of curiosity. Half of them now, having received their content patches. Or more than half, rather. 78 hours, not bad, man. That's a pretty solid chunk of time there. I think we just want to go zoom here. I've got, as of speaking... Where are we at? I have 798 hours. <laughs> Personally, I like this game a little bit. What was the last card I played? Uh, stability. Okay. So we just want to go... Let's go Stoicism. Bring that back. Do this again. I guess it's worth mentioning. I, uh, I do content design for this game. So uh, a whole bunch of different cards and relics and stuff were my creations. If you've ever found the Broken Shifter Relic, Lunga... That is my namesake. Or I guess I said that backwards. The card, the, the relic is named after me. Dang. Did not draw the attack. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We just got a little bit of delay block here. I guess we're looping the circular logic. I don't really want to, but I guess we are. Okay. Surprise attack just kills you outright. In fact, it's a pretty significant overkill. How much is this? That kills you too. Yeah, okay. So we'll do this. Yeah, I think the like perfect time for a run in a roguelike is right around an hour, give or take. Maybe a little bit longer. Uh, if I'm playing off stream, I can usually finish a run of Vault in like somewhere between an hour and 15 and an hour 30. So a little bit long. On stream, though, it's like two hours. Takes a lot longer when you're talking through all your plays and stuff. Okay, next upgrade. It might just be persists at this point. Just getting ever closer to that green stone, but not quite there yet. That, or, I mean, I, I was talking about the multitask. That's going to be a lot of delay block versus, like, void and stuff. Hey, what's up, one-man army? Yeah, actually, I, I don't know if you're if you're just joining the stream or if you've been lurking for a bit, but... The surprise attack has actually been carrying the early game. This this card was crucial against early the first elite we fought and several other fights since then. It's been really good. Uh, I do think I'm going to cut it eventually. It is still, a, you know, an early game oriented card. But it's been putting in a lot of work. So, yeah, big fan of the uh, updated surprise attack. Yeah, obviously, you've, uh, I've, I've got a lot of, like, mental shortcuts and stuff, Lunga, since I've played so much. I know that I can just, you know, churn through some turns. But there's, there's a lot to consider on every given turn of this game, so... Until you build those mental pathways, it's definitely worth it to take your time. Hey, Busker Rhymes! What's going on, man? Grinding to I-30, do the challenges. Getting destroyed by the spiders. Yeah, well, hey, glad you're enjoying the YouTube content, and don't feel too bad about getting wrecked by the spiders, because they uh, are terrifying. They, they they wreck everybody. In fact, if you've, if you've seen my instability guide video, they're pretty much the sole reason why I, I recommend never taking maximum uh, uh, Praetorian Guard, because then you have to fight those guys. And some decks just can't handle them, they're so deadly. 
uh, quick tips I can toss out. If you, uh, if you can manage it, try to get your hands on an exploding bottle and save it just for them. Uh, stealth Potion can work reasonably well, too. And, I mean, any sort of potion that, like, boosts your ability to rapidly output damage at the beginning. Those, those are the best, too. But uh, even, like, a, a Patience Potion can work. You, you belt the Patience Potion, you crack it on turn one. You have one turn to deal damage, they put Threat on the stack, and then you draw a bunch of extra cards next turn to try and finish them off. You pretty much have to kill all three at once. It's tough stuff, so yeah, either either just avoiding them outright or specifically dedicating hard counters anytime you see them is the way to go. Red and green is not really what I want. Obviously, I do want a green, but we are getting one. I think I can continue to wait until we earn that naturally. So I think I'll just reroll here. We really, really want Blackstone. And there it is. It's a thing of beauty. Do I want a blue stone as well? I mean, probably. Blue stones are pretty good, if you ask me. And I don't have anything else to spend my money on, so yeah, I'll take it. Daughter of the Void was the first class that clicked with you. That's got to be an unusual experience. She's definitely the most complicated. I think uh, I think a lot of people have more trouble with her, but it's cool to hear that she works for you, huh? She's a very interesting character, very unique. The first time <laughs> when I was like brand new to this game, the first time I read a Void coin, I had an aneurysm, but... Uh, once you figure it out, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. If you're playing her the most, though, that'll also slow you down. Her runs tend to be a bit slower because she does a lot more stuff on every given turn. Lots of drawing and discarding and recurring. So I'm thinking I'll save this Blackstone for the Stoicism to try and go off with uh, the Reverb. No real need to wait until then, though. We'll just we'll put it in there. That's just why I'm doing this instead of putting it in uh, the other upgraded persist, which would be the other very good choice. Uh, we do have another black stone coming up here, but that's quite a ways away. So I think for the time being, I'm actually very much down to just do blue stone persist. So we draw two, discard one. Yeah, like none of these things like really scream put a blue stone in me. So let's do that. Let's do blue stone persist. And I think that's all we need to do for now with the deck. Nice little boost in power there with the Void Stones. I'm happy I visited that node instead of the fight with a card that I didn't really want. Okay. Who's your forever character, Busker? Out of curiosity. Hey, look, it's counter on turn one. They said it couldn't be done, dude. This is the third time since I've gotten this card, which was really early on that I've gotten it in play turn one. We do have stealth this time, so I want to keep that in mind. Do I just go, like, stoicism? I think so, actually. Let's go stoicism, stoicism. Ooh, okay, that was a really nice little pickup there. We can get rid of this and this, throw out the counter, keep drawing... And that's about it, I think. We'll just cap out our energy and deal a little bit. It's hard for me to pick a favorite character personally, but I think I lean towards Hidden. Hidden's really cool. Bleed Hidden, in particular, is a lot of fun for me. I really like those kind of damage over time effects that you can stack up. I like to poison and slay this fire a lot. It's just fun watching your enemies just slowly die <laughs> while they can't do anything. Okay, a lot of damage coming next turn, given the amount of delay block we have here. Can't really do much of anything here, unfortunately. This is a very boring turn. So let's just go Zen and get up some delay block. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Bleed Hidden. Yeah, well, I mean, Hidden is the first character that you're you're meant to really sink your teeth into. That's why he's the first one you unlock. Most people seem to prefer Blade, I think, but I really like Bleed. Even if Blade is a little bit stronger. I also really like uh, Hidden Blade builds, where you just make a, a million Hidden Blades every turn. Those are a ton of fun as well. We want to do this. The persists are live. We can spell back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Put this guy back. Go Zen with the purple one. Into this. Get rid of you. I'm 
thinking we might be able to hit you with the surprise attack. Because you're just going to die. Right? Uh, do we want to put stuff with better future before I persist? Sort of. Could just get lucky, though. Let's roll the dice a little bit, huh? No? Okay. That's fine. We'll kill you this way. Surprise attack you. And then better future for this and this. We don't need that. Now you're dead. And I guess we can surprise attack you. Look at the damage! Surprise attack redemption arc. It's actually good, man. It's actually good. All right. Uh, we can upgrade the last persist here. That's what we're just going to do. Corruption on daughter. Daughter's the hardest one, man. Definitely the hardest one. I also like Corruption over Soul Tithe, though. They're both cool, though. But uh, Corruption has some of the some of the highest potential damage output in the game. You can do some absolutely wild stuff with Corruption builds. Do we want an Elder's Blessing here? This is going to get wasted a lot of the time due to Zen. Uh, the Barbed Wand to make people vulnerable is very mediocre. These are all pretty mediocre, if we're being honest. None of this is really what I wanted to see. Uh, random free block from Flame Shield could be good, although I think we'll be overblocking a lot. I guess I'll just take the Eldritch Blessing and we'll just do our best not to waste it. But acknowledge that it will get wasted a decent amount of the time, and there's really not much to be done about that. I think this is a good time to bring the Mind Shatter back in. So we'll do that. We can cut one stability for Mind Shatter here. Vaguely considering Ritual as well in case it's Hag. Hag is really annoying. Is she annoying enough that I put in a ritual? Maybe. Beast of Malice, we don't really want ritual against. Dolus, we don't really want ritual against. Yeah, no, okay, we won't put it in. We won't. Enlightened was weird to play before I understood what interacts with rage and vulnerable. Yeah, the the fact that like rage affects like your she application, but then it doesn't work with vol, and rage works with future strike, but only when you're applying it, not when it deals the damage. But vulnerable applies only when you deal the damage, and not when you're putting the future strike on. Yeah, plenty of plenty of intricacies to learn, to be sure. But uh, once you get a handle on it, I think he's one of the uh, one of the more straightforward classes to play. I mean, it's pretty much that there's like a. The way I would look at it is, like, Enlightened is a step above Tempest and Hidden, all of whom are, like, s fairly easy to play once you grasp their mechanics, and then Daughter is, like, above that, where, like, way above that, where even once you know what you're doing, she's tough, she's really tough. Okay, it is Beast of Malice. We should be pretty good against Beast of Malice. We're not really going to trigger his passive. Uh, let's weaken him, I guess, right? We'll go double stability. And then weaken. Now we're in Zen for the Stoicisms. And I think I actually do just want to accelerate ASAP here, so we'll put back the Stoicism, just keep drawing. Okay, well. Didn't get anywhere. This is a reasonable time to just let the Blessing do its thing, so drop, drop, drop. Three out of seven means we'll have full energy next turn. Six out of six. The Blessing will be good to go. What's up, Hurry? Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a little bit, huh? But here we are. And thank you, Hurry, for the tier one sub. That is six months, dude. That's half a year. Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. Always a pleasure to have you hanging out here in the stream. Hope you've been doing well yourself. Let's see. How do we want to do this? We've got circular... This persist. I think we're going to circular the black persist after... We go Zen here. Let's get started like this. Do that. We could get two delay block. <laughs> Let's do some of this. Um, drop you. Go into the enlightened patch blind without the previews. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to to stream the uh, the in development stuff, unfortunately. Uh, uh, there is a uh, quite a bit less stuff that changed this time around, though. It turned out that the Enlightened was just in a pretty good spot. 
so not as much uh, stuff getting rejiggered. But uh, I do really like a lot of the new stuff. Convergence is my favorite new thing that's been added. Anything that stood out to you so far, Hurry? Where do we want to do this part now? We should probably get uh, Maneuver, I think. Let's get Maneuver. And Stoicism in that order. Like that. Drop you. We'll go Maneuver. Stoic. Stoic. We need to spend some more energy here. What's coming up next? The counter sure was late to the party. Okay, I'm gonna go m repeating mirror guard. And the plan is gonna be to rinse and repeat the mirror guard next turn. Yeah, the starter deck changes are great, for sure. I really like the persists a lot. Persist is one of my favorite cards. The draw, discard, three relic. Uh, the, the sake, I think that is, right? That one was crazy. When we first thought of it, uh, the plan was for it to just be whatever you're not in Zen. Every time you play a card, you draw and discard one, which was a little insane. We had to <laughs> lower it a bit. Although it, it, it's not technically any lower. It's still the same amount of draw and discard. It's just you have to access it in a different manner. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was a late change. The patch notes are a little wonky this time. Josh left in the art notes and everything, too. <laughs> Internal stuff. Uh, I can't help but notice that uh, bad things are happening to us right now. Probably because we bottom-decked our counter. That's never fun. I almost want to say that I should use the potion here, but I don't know. It's probably not worth it, is it? We put in Mind Shatter, right? It's coming up. I'm gonna hold the counter. Oof, take eight. Yeah, luckily the Echo Wall is actually doing a lot of work here. He's taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, here's the counter. We got some persist. We got better future. This should be good. This should be good enough. So we'll go... Persist. Ditch that. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for. That is not what I was hoping for at all. This is not that much damage yet. This is not that much damage at all. I don't think we're going to use the Mind Shatter here. We'll have to get that back with, like, Circular. Um, What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's go Better Future for this and this. Ditch that. I am just going to energy pot. Weakness seems pretty good. But then I can't mirror guard. Also, if he deals more damage, then the echo wall hits him harder. Uh-oh. Are we about to buy the farm? I hope not. Yeah, daughter's congeal styled card is going to be the weirdest one for sure. Yeah, I was, uh, con Congeal was, was something I came up with, and then I was like, it, it turns out that I, I enjoyed playing with it so much, I was like, we gotta make one of these for everybody. And so far, they've mostly made sense, right? Like, Shock is very comparable to Bleed, She like, it, it kind of works. We had to do the weird two-turn thing with it, but it worked out in the end. But then, like, what does Daughter do? <laughs> I've got some ideas in the tank, we'll figure it out, though, I'm sure. Okay, let's try to not die here, huh? I really want to get these persists. I think that means that I put back the blue persist here. And then we go double stability. Into this, right? Or is it this? No, it's this. Draw a card. Persist. Okay, I think this gets us there, right? That's gotta be enough. Sucks to lose the energy potion. But we're alive, and we're one fight away from the Soul Collector, although this path is actually kind of very scary right now. I wish I had a health potion. Oh, I do have a health potion. Okay. <laughs> I'll just have to make sure I remember to put that in the belt here. So let's just do that before I distract myself. Okay. Uh, any other changes to make here? I don't think so. I think this is what we're rocking with. Okay. Um, hmm. 
Is this a exalted warrior first kind of situation? It might be. We have stealth again. Oh, sh that's right. We're not going to have stealth for the other elite either. Come on. Man, this really did not work out the way that I was hoping. It was in terms of pathing. And then it's going to be stealth, no stealth, stealth, no stealth. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Because that way we at least have stealth for the heart fight. Or, excuse me, the void fight. <laughs> been watching some, uh, some Slay the Spire streams again. It's been quite a while since I've done that, but... Uh, going back and watching some uh, some of Baylor Lord streams. Saw you in the chat there, hurry. Okay, do we even care about going Zen with stability? I don't think we do at all. We just want to draw cards. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then, I guess we might as well stack more Echo Wall? Yeah, wherever this eye came from, man, I should go return it and get a refund. This thing was a total ripoff. Hiya. Yeah, actually, I don't even remember if I saw you sub. I, th I probably heard you get s you get a shout out or something. <laughs> yeah, when uh, so I I'm one of the rare people who I think had a lot of experience with deck building games before Spire came out in like cardboard like I played a lot of Star Realms and stuff in college uh, but when Spire came out and I was like learning how to be good at it and stuff I definitely watched a whole bunch of Baylor streams I it, it's kind of like an interesting thing where like uh, he I know tries to kind of like emulate the style of streaming that like Lethal Frag does another streamer who I, I watch and am a fan of and so now I, I kind of try to do the same thing <laughs> where I'm like sort of emulating Baylor emulating Frag like, uh, one thing I picked up from him is I always try to, like, mouse over relics and cards and stuff when I'm talking about them. I think that's, like, a really handy thing for a viewer. Okay. Uh, freaking counter, dude. This is the last fight! That's at least one thing we have going for us. Before we fight this stupid elite, we're gonna have counter greenstone. Finally. It's been 10,000 years. Okay, let's just do some of this. The weakness, maybe... This is good. This is not good. Let's go... Persists. Do I want to draw anything else from here? Actually, drawing Stoicism is really good. Let's draw Stoicism. Oh, that was where you first saw Vault? Yeah, I remember when uh, when Josh, the dev for this game, was asking, like, oh, you know, what, what streamer should we, uh, should we, like, sponsor for this? I was like, oh, you should, you should have Baylor do it. He didn't like it very much, I remember, which is a shame. Especially because uh, I, some of the stuff that I had, like, just came up with, I remember he found, like, he found the monkey's paw, which was something I had just designed recently and was really proud of. And he, he at least seemed to like the monkey's paw, so that was cool, I guess. I mean, it says draw on it, right? <laughs> who, who doesn't like to draw cards in these kind of games? Counter! What are you doing? Bottom five again! Oh, I'm so disappointed in you, Counter. I'm so disappointed in you. Okay, let's draw even more cards. We're not drawing enough cards yet. Let's get this and this. Pitch you, draw. Oh, I should have taken Mind Shatter out. Whoops. Whoops. Do we want to weaken you? Probably. Yeah, let's weaken you. And then let's go draw. There is the counter. Oh, God. It sucks so much to have to wait this long to get into play. We don't even have any attacks coming up to make use of it with. Oh, this is miserable. This is absolutely miserable, dude. If I hold it, we draw four cards next turn. If I purge it, and the plan would be to, like, draw a circular and then put it back and foresee it, that won't work because we'll reshuffle the deck. If I purge this, we're just, like, giving up on getting the counter in play anytime soon, which is terrible. What was the last card I played? Um... Persist. So I can rinse and repeat the persist. I don't think I can. I think I have to purge this. Oh, this is not good, man. This is not good. We've got the health pot at least. Okay, Gut Fiend dies this turn, right? Oh, no, we had stealth. So he doesn't die this turn. He dies the turn after that. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, some enemies do the same thing uh, on specific turn counts. Like the Treasure Goblin's probably the best example. He always runs away on turn four. 
Uh, that can get, like, changed by weird actions like uh, stealth or if you have the uh, ambush on. So he's not actually dying here because he skipped his first turn. So he will die next turn. Okay. Um, oh, we reshuffled anyway. What am I... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, trying to trying to time the uh, the kill there. Usually that is what I like to do, but I think we had to go for the exalted warrior this time. It's just not really working out. Unfortunately, it's it's going quite poorly <laughs> this time around. Uh got the blessing. Okay, let's just do this, and then we can go play this for free. Get it back. Purge this. Play this so that we're zen. Play this. Crack the health potion. At least we're not dead. Now the gut fiend's gonna die. Stoicism here is actually pretty good with the circular logic. Some repeat too, actually. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's go circular, put back the rinse, and then we'll foresee the black persist. No, we're gonna foresee mirror guard. Counter's just cursed to be on the bottom of the deck. I, I know, man. It's been really rough. It's been really rough. But this is the last fight I have to deal with that. Hopefully that makes the difference here. But now that we've set our deck up, we can go Stoicism, Rinse, Stoicism, Stoicism, Persist, get rid of you, get rid of you, Multitask, do I want to weaken you again? That's pretty nice to have weakened down, I think I do, especially because we're drawing Banes next turn, we absolutely hold the Mirror Guard. That's why we foresaw it. Yeah, yeah, we weren't gonna kill the Flesh Beast at this rate. Pretty close, but not quite. If all of the damage on this guy had been on him instead, he would be alive. Okay, we got another Gut Fiend, that's good. Definitely wanna put something back with the spell here. Probably just the OG Persist, so we'll go like this. Put it back. Drawn to it again. Now we're zen. You're gonna die to literally anything. Let's just finish you off here. See how much she we have to work with. Let's put back blue persist. The foresight doesn't really matter. Plenty of zen left, so I, we'll put we'll put it on this. I guess why not? Draw the pers. Oh, circular. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. <laughs> you, you, you vision a card, putting it on top of the deck before you loop the circular logic back in. That means that if the circular logic chooses to shuffle itself onto the top slot of the deck, you won't draw the card you just visioned. <laughs> it doesn't really mess us up too bad here, but it, it does put a stop to my plans for this turn. At least we still have the full block here though. Oh, circular logic, man. It's a good card, but it's it's got some weirdness to it. It can definitely bite you in the butt. Okay, better future here. Looking pretty good. Definitely gonna start with the attacks, of course. Blessings come in clutch several times here. Thought it was gonna be a little more awkward than it actually has been. Okay, so before we reshuffle, we better future. We want double persists. We don't need you. Uh, draw the other one. There go. And finish you off. Completely ignored it. Yeah, I kind of had a similar deal with Circular Logic where I didn't really like it very much at first. And then I had one run where my the only good damage I found the entire run was a single copy of Thousand Fists. And I absolutely would have died if I didn't have Circular Logic to just keep recycling it and getting the Foresight on it. And I was like, okay, Circular Logic, I see where you're coming from. I respect you. 
Also, we got an Iron Skin Potion here. That is so crucial, man. Having that 20 emergency block is going to go a long way to keeping us alive. Uh, we should probably do a defensive upgrade here, huh? I'm thinking Maneuver. Let's do the Maneuver or Mirror Guard. Two great options. Let's do Maneuver. I want some more block, and I like to play Maneuver a lot. Time to get a bunch of relics. Ooh, the monkey's paw. Okay, that's good. That's definitely good. I don't have any zero costers, though, do I, right? Yeah, literally no zero costers. So we do just have to eat the downside there, but it's still a very nice consistency boost. We have so many one costs, that's not a problem. Um, also, if I'm not mistaken, it does work with the Eldritch Blessing. If the Blessing is primed, so our next card's gonna cost less, and we play it while under the effect of Hex, the, uh, the Blessing charge does not go away. So we, we kind of get to, like, cheat and get two uh, energy savings on it. Yeah, there you go, Harry. Blessing for the zero cost. That's right. The alt art reminded me of how sad I am that the Twisted Reality Pack is missing Penitence. Yeah, Penitence was added later after the uh, uh, alt art packs came in. Those were commissioned from different artists. So at the time, he just said, you know, draw one of all the afflictions. And they did, and now I guess he'd have to go back and hunt him down to get him to do one more. So it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it will. I don't know. I think we probably just take the paw. I mean, it's it's so good, right? <laughs> it's really, really good. The Regal Monocle here is pretty bad because she and all that, they're not debuffs. So it would only actually work on, like, the, uh, the weakness from surprise attack. Is that the only debuff we have in the whole deck right now? It is. Shameful. Uh, this thing's on sale, so I think that's where we're going to spend the rest of our souls. Frozen Sphere. I mean, we're below half health. <laughs> this could help a lot in this elite fight. So, sure. Let's check what we got here. The E button. Well, e button's pretty good. I certainly wouldn't mind it. Obviously, we can purge the voids immediately. That means we're not healing here, but the heal would not be for very much because it's percentage-based. Um, I think I want it, man. I really like E-Button. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Then we're going to do some alterations here. Greenstone counter. Thank the Lord. Oh, that's going to be so nice. We should put in the ritual while we have this void. It's only one fight, but, you know, could make the difference. Let's take out one stability. Uh, we keep in the mind shatter here because it's a single target fight. Actually, uh, screw the ritual. We haven't enough suffering. Kind of forgot about that. Okay, elite time. Oh, pickled hand! Well, you know what goes really well with the monkey's paws? The pickled hand. Two hands together. What more could you ask for? We have the MA Soul Piercer as well. This is pretty decent for fighting the void, but we shouldn't need that because we have Mind Shatter, so I'm definitely going to be taking the hand. Yeah, I know, Lunga. I, I usually like to use the default art for most stuff because I think it, it is easier for the viewers to understand what's going on if they see the artwork that they're most familiar with, probably. Although I do use the special artwork for uh, Void and for the... Uh, the hidden tokens, the silent shiv and the hidden blade, because those just look too sick. I couldn't possibly say no. Okay. Um, that was all we needed to do, right? We got the potion in the belt. Let's go for it. Pickled hand me. Got the rinse and repeat here. Interesting. Let's get rid of stability. Uh, surprise attack for Volm is pretty worthless here, so we don't need you. We don't really want you either, I guess. Right. Yeah, we don't want you. Let's go this. This. Get it back. Also nice, of course, we draw the void. Why wouldn't we? And we have some weird choices to make here. Um, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is sit on the maneuver. We'll use the Eldritch Blessing like we were talking about with the Monkey's Paw. Because if I purge this, then I lose that. If I play it, there's no... I, right? Like, I mean, if I play it, I lose it. And if I purge it... Okay. You guys get the idea, okay? 
<laughs> I'm tripping over my words here. Um, we drew the bane. Come on, dude. Hag. You're being very rude right now. Let's get rid of repeating. Should I just play this right now? I kind of want to. I do want to. Let's just do that immediately. Then let's go. We're not we don't have the blue stone here, so we gotta be smart. We'll go better future, put back, persist, and rinse and repeat. Draw with maneuver. Then we can purge actually hmm. This is actually tricky. It's actually quite tricky. This is going to benefit from the Mantis. This is 20 she and 10 damage. It's like kind of good, right? Hmm. Let's rinse to get the maneuver back. Then let's go... Persist. Maneuver. Persist. Hmm. This is so weird. How do I want to do this? Okay, let's go spell, actually. For the maneuver again. Persist into... Oh, wait, she's not fatigued yet. I am a fool. I am a fool! I will play the Mind Shatter, though. I'll take three. Okay, we need to generate a good chunk of defense here. Um... Probably don't need this stability. I do think we want to go Zen with stabilities here. And to persist. Just draw a bunch of cards. Keep drawing. Circular is here. Okay, no surprise attack. Yes, mirror guard. Let's do some more persisting. We're out of Zen now. We want to circular back the mirror guard. Probably foresee it as well. No multitask. Persist again. Purge, purge, throw that out. Okay. Yeah, the Void alt art is really nice. I really like all of the animated cards, actually. Just in general, they look really good. Oh, okay, the slow has been pretty handy from the uh, Frozen Sphere, I gotta say. Okay. What are we throwing out here? This is the overcharging stability. Mm. Let's ditch the Rinse and Repeat. Then we'll go stability, stability. Now the stones are live again, so we can pitch this bane. Circular could put something back. Better future could put something back. I kind of just want the mind shatter at this point, to be honest. Okay, let's go persist first, then better future these guys. Get rid of you. Persist. Persist. We're almost out of Zen. There's the Mind Shatter, and it's a kill. Okay, we took a little tiny bit there. Not that bad. We do have our uh, thingy mob, the Eldritch Blessing, set up for the next fight to immediately use with Monkey's Paw, so that's pretty good. Go ahead and get rid of our stupid Void. And this card. This card is going to help us a lot. This reverb. Uh, out with the Mind Shatter. Out with the Enough Suffering. I also think it's time for Surprise Attack to go. You did really good work. I'll give it to you. But not anymore, man. Your time has come and gone. You can retire into the backpack now. Uh, when did we get a second Circular Logic? <laughs> I blanked on that. Let's actually get some more immediate block. Huh? Let's get Cohesion. And what else do we want? Maybe we do put the fast forward back in at this point, actually. 
thinking about it. Either that or we just put back in one more stability. I kind of do want some more stabilities. We're a little bit light on stabilities. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Let's try this. Alright. So we can just toss out this card. We don't need the counter immediately, so we can instead take advantage of the opener on the stability. Double courtesans. A little bit weird. Let's do this. Now at the counter. Uh, we do want to use the pickled hand if we can help it. Do we want to put something back with circular? I mean, why not? Why not get back the stoicism? The stability. Hmm. How about Stoicism? We'll foresee the expensive card. It's so, it's so night and day, the fights where we have stealth and the fights where we don't, man. All of the tough fights just happened to line up where we didn't have stealth, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, also, uh, when we've foreseen a card here, we can play it to the hex for zero energy, and it is still foreseen. Another interesting way that we can break the monkey's paw downside. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, okay, give me some rage and put back the blackstone persist. And then we'll just go stabilities into this. We don't need you. Double stoicism. Uh, we're pretty close to a kill here. We're there. And we're going to be able to go Zen again, should we want to. And I think we do want to. Why wouldn't we? Let's go with Stoicism yet again. It's been doing us good. We can do the Foresight there to cheat the Monkey's Paw again. You know, maybe I should be on double circular logic just for that interaction, actually. That's a pretty big deal. We didn't even do Monkey's Paw last turn, huh? Or not monkey's paw, pickled hand. We didn't we didn't do pickled hand last turn at all. <laughs> Actually, we've got plenty of energy. We don't need to cheat it with the stoicism. Let's just do some of this, and then we can go stoic, rinse, stoic. Go after you with the fatigue. We don't need the stabilities here. Let's stoic. Okay. How do we want to re-enter Zen? Probably just with stabilities here. And then we can multitask you, I guess. Now, better future for the persists. Sure you die. Yeah, now we're cooking. Get rid of that. Let's go circular for this again. Foresight it. Why not? We were into it. That's, you. Whatever. <laughs> there weren't very many cards in deck that time. It was relatively likely to happen. We'll just play that and. Sure, I guess. We'll hit you a little bit harder. Um, don't need the repeating here. I mean, honestly, I don't need this mirror guard either. We've played it twice to Hex. <laughs> Just happened that way. Um, can I get the... We don't know what we're going to draw. We don't have any visioned cards. So I, I guess we'll just look and see. Yeah, odds were pretty low of a complete failure there. Because now we can just go like this and this. Get this back. That kills you, because it is a future strike turn. And... Just have some excess energy, I guess. Yeah, okay. Energy is looking good now. Energy is looking good. The reverb is going to make a world of difference, too, I think. Very excited to pick up this reverb. Uh, beads. Can we do beads? Yeah, we can do beads. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> I misclicked. No, my beads. I didn't increment them. Devastating. I should have set up the, uh, the Eldritch Blessing, too. Whoops. I need to pay attention to that. Okay. Anyway. Uh, reverb. Reverb is a good card. What do we want to take out? I guess I can drop one stability for the reverb. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Taxidermist. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this guy, I don't think. Let's ditch stability. Don't need you this early on. Get this out. And we're just gonna full purge here and play the circular. Better future, probably the best thing to have back. I'm thinking foresight on the reverb, it is a little expensive. Jarder is a bit of an issue with the reverb. The cards that give us Echo Wall, it's really just a couple of them. You know, like we're just playing the Stoicism over and over for the most part. Okay, we did get to Stoicism first, so that's pretty good. Let's get our block with the purple stones to build here. Now we can stoicism. Uh, do we want to put something back to draw into? Hmm. Yes, actually. We'll put back the real one. Draw into it. Draw again. Rinse and repeat it. Draw again. Better future. Put back these two. Ditch this. Draw again. Rinse and repeat. We're Zen again. <laughs> oh, the rinse and repeat has been super cool. Still haven't found the reverb yet, annoyingly. We're getting there. We got a couple more draws here. Let's go circular the stoicism. For sight on the mirror guard. Draw. I was expecting that, you know? I was expecting to see Circular again. If we didn't hit Circular, we would have drawn one more with Stoicism. So it's not like the end of the world. Uh, let's try and get the Eldritch Blessing ready to go here, huh? That just means we want to play two more cards. So how about... Delay Block. And we'll go Circular one more time. Put back... <laughs> Everything's already so cheap, man. I mean, this is the Elder's Blessing it's showing, but... We'll put it on that, I guess. And so, the top card will be this Persist. We can just grab it back immediately and it goes down off the Stoicism. Oh, but wait, actually, you know what? I've never had this interaction before. Are the Banes the top card now? I've never... Oh, okay, well, we're shuffling, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Why did we actually shuffle there? Am I tripping? What happened? What the... Oh, duh, monkey's paw. I literally forgot that the monkey's paw was gonna make me shuffle. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Here, we don't need this. I think we'll reverb after we stoicism, of course. So let's just go stoic, rinse, stoic. Stoic again. Mirror guard, why not? You think nine fatigue is enough? I think nine fatigue is enough. Let's go reverb. <laughs> and now we just want to get our persists. 36 she off the... Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, well, that's perhaps a small problem. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Okay, let's circular then. Uh, mirror guard looking pretty good right now. Especially when it's free. No real point in playing that. Okay, well, yeah, we're, we're alright. We're alright. We can handle this much. Okay, uh... I don't need this many stabilities. 39 she off of this stability is pretty kooky. 
Um, how many Banes in here? None? Okay, that's good. I think we can drop the circular here. Better future. Yes, I will better future. We want this and this. Yeah, we want this and this. We can pitch you. Let the draw. Rinse. Persist. Get rid of you. And then we'll get a million delay block. Which is good, because they're going to gain frenzy. Uh, we can actually go Zen yet again and draw a card. Why not? Oh, that's really good. Look at us go. Okay. What, what, what am I even doing anymore? There's like nothing to do now. Okay, yeah, you're gonna die. Purge, purge, purge. This is more what I'm hoping to see, is this kind of a fight. This is what it looks like when everything actually works out properly. Crippling Potion, that's a good one to have. And here we get the No Condo. This may or may not come in. I mean, an Expel card is actually pretty valuable right now, I'll say. You know, like, you could maybe even make a case that I should be playing enough Suffering. Because you see, like, when we're cycling through the deck like that, it's really good. We haven't been playing the Repeating Deflections that much. It's probably worth it to put the uh, put the no condo in. I don't think I'll go with enough suffering yet, though. Maybe eventually, but not yet. Our chaos. Okay. We're not super good against you, but I think we can do it. Let's get rid of the repeating, especially with stealth. Stealth makes a huge difference. Let's just go counter. The blessing is almost live here. So let's set that up. We'll just get the nine she here. Purge, purge to have full energy. Looking good. This is a fun interaction. I'm enjoying that. Okay. Uh, they're not fatigued yet, but they could become fatigued if we draw well. Let's get rid of the stability. Stoic. Nothing else that draws in here? No. Okay, in that case we'll go maneuver first. Ooh, rinse and repeat. So I think what we want to do now is better future for these two in this order. Ditching... probably the circular, actually. And then we'll go real stoic. Rinse. Stoic. Stoic. Maneuver. There's the reverb. Okay, not nearly as much uh, Echo Wall this time, but it's still a pretty good amount. We can get a little bit more. I think I will. Purge that. Drop the reverb. We'll get Pickled Hand. And do we want to shuffle? I sure think we do. All my good cards are still in here, right? Or do I want to just put more good cards on top right now with the spell? Probably should save the spell. Hmm. See what we draw. Or actually, wait a minute. Hold the phone. Just do that. Oh my god. How about that? How about that? Now we can circular. Putting back, uh, do we want the blue stone one? Not really. Doesn't matter really. Uh, foresight on mirror guard, I guess. Oh ho ho, yes! Now that is what I'm talking about. That was a good turn. It was only turn two. I mean, the first one was free because of stealth. So that doesn't really count, but you know what I'm saying. You get the idea. This is the sort of thing our deck is capable of once we... Once we just get our powers down. Okay. Um, I don't actually need the Yellowstone here, but I might as well use the... The Volatile one in that case. Zen. Um, what do we want to put back? Blackstone Persist, absolutely. Let's just get you and you, 
I guess. Why not? Don't need that. Yeah, have some she. You like that? The multitask is going to be an enormous amount of delay block here. Uh, not quite going to be able to do Eldritch Blessing, are we? Yeah, not quite. It's pretty close, though. Let's try to remember to set it up for the next fight. Next fight's the boss, right? Yes, it is. So I really want to have this set up if I can manage. And that should actually be very easy. Right? Like, we just play a card here. This kills him. And that's all there is to it. Right? I think that's all there is to it. Easy. Okay, we get our stone relic. I have no idea which one we want. We're not actually triggering any particular stone that much. I guess blue is the best one. And look at that, the rare second row of relics in a non-challenge coin run. You don't see that very often. Uh, yeah, no condo. You do get to join the deck. We'll have to go on in there. Also thinking about readied reprisal, but probably not. Probably not. Let's just rock with this. Blood Hive should be okay. I see we've got the reverb in the opening hand. That's a little bit awkward. It's probably too early for you. Goodbye stability, I think. Save the counter for later, huh? Yeah, we'll just go Stoicism, Rinse, Stoicism, put it back, Stoicism, do it again, nice mirror guard. Okay, no to multitask and no to stability for sure here. We do need to make sure we actually do get the counter in play at some point, right? Let's just do that now before we get... Let's also throw out the no condo while it's free. Uh, reverb is free at this point because the blessing is stacking with Zen. So I could do that, or I could play Mirror Guard and then play the reverb. If I reverb now, I can actually start persisting, which seems pretty good. So let's do that. And we're, I think we're just going straight for the Blood Hive, right? Maybe? I don't know. Probably. Probably straight from the Blood Hive. Can we draw another Persist? No, but his stability is pretty good. And no need to keep this around. Okay, off to a great start here. That was a very good first turn. Four stacks of fatigue on everybody. Looking pretty good. Uh, what do we not want now? Probably just a repeating. These have definitely stopped being very good. Better Future has a lot of good hits here. We can even go for another reverb, and I'm kind of thinking we will, actually. So let's retrieve these two. We also get to upgrade the reverb, so that's kind of fun. No to the repeating deflection. Draw the reverb. More Echo Wall, please. More, more Echo Wall, maybe, huh? Maybe not. Mm, but maybe yes. No, it, it's probably not worth it. The reshuffle there for the no condo, I think we just leave it at that. Let's just get another three. Seven stacks of fatigue. That sure is a lot. Let's draw some more cards. Let's go this persist first. Now let's put it back. Uh, foresight on the black one, I guess? We don't need the mirror guard, it turns out. That's what I figured would end up being the case. Uh, I got some overcharge. We have not pickled handed yet, funny enough. So let's do that. And let's get the Eldritch Blessing set up too. Oh, it is a thing of beauty, dude. It is a thing of beauty when this deck comes together. It's turn two, they got eight stacks of fatigue. Looking good, feeling good. Keep 
throwing away these repeating deflections. Uh, we're gonna rinse and repeat the persist here if we can help it, so... Take this. Get it back. Let's do some stoicisms. Okay, um... I would like to keep going, please. Don't need you. Uh, let's just go back Zen with attacks. That. Stomach for the persist. More overcharge? We don't really need more overcharge. Uh, let's try and just set up the Eldritch again then, huh? Let's go repeating, actually, to set it up. And then we're gonna have some huge excesses of energy, actually, if we do that, huh? Yeah, never mind. I changed my mind. This is better. Because now we go purge, purge, and it's still excessive energy, but it's only one excess energy. This blood bag's about to die from just punching the echo wall punch. Uh, the world is our oyster right now. We've got everything in the discard pile. So the circular is like a maybe. Uh, I don't think we need this reverb, but we're not going to play that into hex because it's expensive. Let's just get rid of the circular, actually. Hmm. And let's go persist with the spell. We'll go ahead and get the opener effect here just so we can ditch for that. Now we can... Oh, there it goes. Never mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back the regular persist with this rinse. And this is looking like the end of the line for Mr. Bloodhive. Let's just try and set up the Eldritch as we do for the next fight. Always thinking ahead. So this doesn't quite kill him, but the Future Strike will. Okay, yeah, so we just want to go like this, this, this. It doesn't really matter what we're doing here. And then we go... Strike. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, our energy economy is insane right now. There goes Bloodhive, and that was without stealth. Feeling very good about that. We got a comfortable amount of health. We get the Swarm spell. This is actually pretty massive. I suspect that Swarm plus uh, Mind Shatter is going to be what we use to kill the Void. Okay, oh hey, what do you know? Another black void stone. Don't mind if I do, huh? Put that on the uh, other persist here. That sounds pretty good. And what else do we want? Booster pack with a rare? Probably not. The deck's in great shape. Very few cards I would want to cut. It's really just these two. Uh, two upgrade points would be really good too. We can upgrade... What would we upgrade actually? Probably the mirror guard. Maybe the no condo actually getting this thing to be free is pretty pretty juicy. Random void stones. We don't really need random void stones anymore. Even if I got another black stone, which is usually the high roll, I don't know where I'd put it. Best candidate would probably be maneuver or rinse and repeat. Uh, green stones worthless. Red stones meh. By the way, we don't have a single red stone. I just like to point that out. <laughs> Think about that, right? The entire run so far, we have not found a single red stone. Imagine if this, if instead of red, it was green that we hadn't found any of, right? <laughs> then again, we did have the chance to buy some at the uh, stonesmith, so I guess it's not truly comparable. Let's just take these upgrade points. I think these are going to be pretty good. And we'll go no condo just so we can get off the ground a little bit faster. And Mirror Guard, just so that we can block a little bit blockier. Uh, Blackstone in the... Where is it? Persist. There you are. Time to figure out our Vault Guardian scenario. We've got Star Council. Pretty okay option here. It's not that bad. Uh, probably no to the spider's nest. Rage is good, but I think these guys would eat our lunch. I don't want to mess with them. 
We don't have the potions for it. Um, Blessing of Purity could be good, although we do have a uh, enough suffering, so it's a bit less good. Death Knight. Hmm. A couple anti-affliction ones. This is a little bit weird. I think we fight the Star Council, for sure. So let's just start with them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we're just going to skip the Spider's Nest, right? We're just going to fight these three. Yeah, okay. Good talk. <laughs> uh, we're going to continue to have the Iron Skin here as our panic button. We don't need enough suffering for these guys. We don't really need Mind Shatter either. By the time two of them are dead, there'll be enough Sheet that the third guy's just going to drop. So we will just leave this deck be. Oh, you know what, actually? I Total brain fart. I forgot about the stealth. We could have fought the spiders with stealth. I'm still not sure we'd want to do that. We can still fight the spiders with stealth if we want. Just not for their blessing, even though the blessing would have been pretty good. Okay, uh, no circular this time, huh? Let's just get going with stoicisms. Yeah, we're just gonna make sure we're not gonna gamble. Guarantee that we can go zen here. Guarantee that we have at least a decent amount of echo wall for the reverb to use. Uh, do we just reverb immediately? I think we just reverb immediately. There it goes. Now the persists are live. Let's get the counter down. We'll try to exit Zen before we play No Condo so that we're not wasting energy savings on it. These guys are both buffing themselves immediately, huh? It's a little spooky. Who do you think is going to have more? My vote's on the middle guy. We'll go after him. Um... Strike on you. Remember that since she and Future Strike are not considered debuffs, they go through immunity bubbles. Just with Future Strike, make sure that they don't have a bubble up when the damage triggers. So at the end of this turn, the Future Strike is actually going to deal the damage. If he's immune then, then it will get wasted. But when you apply it, it's totally fine. And she just doesn't care about immunity at all. You can kill an, imu uh, an immune enemy with she. Always good to keep in mind versus these guys. All right, let's toss the Cohesion. That's obviously pretty worthless right now. Uh, looking like a good chance to use Rinse and Repeat on a Black Persist. So let's go... Hmm, how do we want to do this, actually? We might actually just end up wasting the 25 on him at this rate. I think it makes more sense just to pile all the She on him anyway. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Then we'll go Bluestone Persist, ditch this guy. Then Blackstone Persist to set up the Rinse and Repeat. It's the only card in there, so we'll grab it back. And now we're just stacking She. Looking to draw back into the Stoicism Reverb combo. Here's our other Blackstone Persist. And at this point, we can just do it again. Put them both back ditch, uh, whatever, really. Looks like we're going Zen with abilities, so we don't need you. We'll go with this and this. Now we're Zen. Keep drawing. Circular logic. I don't think so. Yeah, we just want to draw this, this, or this. These are the good draws. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. It's not ideal here. It's just two fatigue, but two fatigue is still pretty good. You know, I won't I won't complain. I'm, I'm happy to spend three energy for one fatigue with Run Ragged. One energy for two fatigue? I'll take it. Okay, looks like we chose poorly. This guy ended up with a little bit more, but I think we'll be fine anyway. With the counter in effect and everything, I'm not worried about. In fact, let's just get rid of the cohesion. Not necessary. Get our opener there. See what we draw. Black persist. Love to see it. I mean, I guess I can ditch this anyway. I know I'm not playing that, so... We'll just do it this way. Let's go persist. Better future for the persists. Don't need mirror guard. Keep persisting. You will never stop persisting.
Now at this point, we can go back into Zen pretty easily with the Stoicism. Let's get rid of you. Stoicism again. Get rid of you. Rinse the Stoicism. Or I guess it rinses the maneuver. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. We are fine. Um, should we reverb again? I think we should reverb again. Let's do that. Uh, I guess I could actually use a little bit of delay lock. Why not? And then we'll just set up the blessing. Right? Or should we just purge? Mm, we should probably just purge. Either way, looking like a slam dunk victory here. Okay, um... Toss this. Go... Opener. This is a Blackstone one. Okay. So we're unhaunted. Do I want to put anything back? Not yet. We'll go like this. Put it back. You are gonna die now. You're almost dead. Better future. Put back that. And I don't know this. We can draw a bunch more cards. Don't need you. Draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. Uh, we didn't set up the blessing there. Whoops. <laughs> and this is not going to be a stealth fight, so that was another mistake. Hopefully we're not going to choke it here. Um, who do I want to fight more? Probably the Queen of Ages. Queen of Ages seems like a good fight. So let's get her blessing. Okay. Uh, don't want this. We do want Stoicism, Rinse, Stoicism. And then we can keep drawing. Purge, we can get the counter down. Draw. Circular? Circular's pretty good. Let's put back the Stoicism. That'll be good because we still need to get to our reverb. And at this point, we're just going to get no condo, right? So we've already done Pickled Hand. So we're actually just going to purge both of these and play them. Okay. That should do. I think we can get rid of the circular at this point. We actually probably need to generate block here, so let's do that. Anything to put back here? The persist seems good. Draw it. Don't need you. Keep drawing. There's our reverb. Let's get a little bit more echo wall, huh? Just a little bit. Uh, we want Rinse Stoicism. Pitch you. We go Stoicism. Rinse. Reverb goes Zen. Cohesion gain energy. And look at that, we get to use Pickled Hand, we set up the Eldritch Blessing. We're not actually able to take advantage of the Pickled Hand energy, but we used it, okay? <laughs> Everyone has six stacks of fatigue. The poison's gonna get a little out of hand, so we do need to accelerate and the fight pretty fast here if we can help it. Let's get going. Here. We'll do this to start, get rid of the Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to try and do another reverb here if we can. The Stoicism is back in the deck. Let's see if we can't get our hands on it. Keep drawing cards. Keep drawing cards. Dang. Well, so much for that. It's only one if we play it now. We can go like this. Do it again. That seems good. 
Get some delay block. I think we want a circular too on the mirror guard. Just to be sure. Purge, purge. I can hold this even. Or I can play it. I guess I'll play it. Okay, she's like a third of the way dead. But sensor fatigue just keeps increasing. It's gonna get easier and easier. The poison's not that bad yet. 13's a lot, but we can deal with it. We can deal with it. Okay, uh, I think what we don't need now is multitask. We definitely want mirror guard. In fact, let's get it back. Do it again. And we're just gonna shuffle through. That's fine. That is a-okay. Another reverb opportunity. We'll go for it. We'll go for the reverb. Five more stacks should be plenty. I'm not going to do, like, better future there to try and get more. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Back into Zen. Blessing's good to go. Perfect energy. Fourteen stacks of fatigue. That's got to be enough, right? <laughs> Pretty bad hand here. Um, I don't think it should matter. Okay, stability. Stability. Multitask. Rinse the stability. Play the stability. Repeating deflection. I guess we take five, and that's the end of it. A little unfortunate there. I would have preferred to keep those five hit points, but this is the end of the fight. All in all, it's not that bad. I think we can... All we really care about is the Eldritch Blessing here, of course, right? So let's just try and make sure we actually remember to set that up. Which is just one card play. And that's it. Okay, Queen of Ages goes down. Took five. I guess it's okay. We'll be able to heal a little bit with the enough suffering during the Void fight. We did get this Red Stone. Uh, it probably just goes on its ability. I don't know where else it would go. Alright, I, mean, I guess it could go on Maneuver. We do play Maneuver a lot. Let's do that, actually. It's good to have just a stone on a card that you play often. Uh, Death Knight can generate a bunch of uh, afflictions for us, but we shouldn't care that much. We're blocking with attacks, mostly. And this is as good a time as any to put in these two cards, because we're going to need them versus this guy and the Void. So let's just drop the repeatings, honestly. Just get rid of both of them. They haven't been useful. We'll do it like this. Here we can drop you. It's a little early for reverb, unfortunately. Let's try. No? Okay. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. We can at least go Zen. Make sure we get our pickled hand going. We can always put the thing back with the, the reverb. It can come back with the spell, or with circular, or with better future. We've got plenty of options. We're not desperate. We'll go ahead and do this, though. Set up the uh, blessing again. We'll just end on that. That was the free turn. Okay, there's our stoicism. We don't have a rinse yet, though. We'd like to get to that. Guess we start drawing. Start with maneuver. Circular. Okay. Stoicism. Mm. Better future can put back the real stoicism and. Oh, that was not the right order. That was a little bit silly. It's okay though. We can use the volatile stoicism. It's fine. Let's let's just grab the reload at this point. And pitch, probably you. It's a little early for that. And then we'll just go Stoicism. Because, yeah, see, now we can't... If this was the fake Stoicism and the real one was in the discard pile, we could spell it. And then double Stoicism before the reverb here. We're just going to get one here, but if we draw Rinse and Repeat, which we did, then we can do stuff. We can Rinse, and then we can go 
Put back the rinse. Draw the rinse. Re-rinse. Stoicism again. And that's five stacks. That's pretty good. That's probably good enough. Uh, this is as reasonable a time as any to play on Enough Suffering. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Because now we'll actually go Zen when we reverb. Uh, blessing is not happening. So let's just get extra energy, right? Do we want to put something back? I mean, foreseeing the Mind Shatter is going to be good eventually. Might as well just do it now. Alright, good looking hand here. Good looking hand to be sure. We're gonna get rage for the mind shatter even. Yeah. Stoic, rinse, stoic. Stoic. Okay, time to start drawing. Reverb's still just hanging out there. We're looking for it. There it is. Let's get rid of, uh, hmm. just a regular stability, I think. And then we'll probably just cash it in here. Four stacks, right? I guess we can shuffle. Yeah, we can shuffle first, right? One more stack of fatigue. That's gotta be worth it. Draw, draw. Oh, we can go like really crazy now that if we're willing to get another set of bands, which I think we are. Yeah, we are. We put back these two in that order. We discard whatever mirror guard's not happening. We do stoicism, rinse, stoicism, shuffle. Now we can reverb and then we can mind shatter. Let's get rid of you. 13. 13 stacks there, not bad. Just want to get as much she as possible here. And that's pretty dang close to a kill. Let's go Zen. About it. Does it sound like a good idea? It sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, very important though that we do want to set up our uh, Eldritch Blessing. That is a big deal. So we want to not go too ham here, just the right amount of ham. Uh, looks like it should be easy. This just kills, yes? Yeah, this just kills. So he's already dead. Just gotta play a few more cards. And that should do it. Okay. The Blessing's good to go. We didn't take any more damage. All the potions have been preserved, although they're not exactly the most phenomenal potions in the world. They are worth something. Spell-wise, it is going to be time for Swarm. Swarm's going to be a really big deal. And, uh, yeah, let's roll in. Nothing else to do to prep. Starting out with Stoicism Rinse, that's a really good start. Really, really good start. Uh, who do we want to go for first here? I think the answer is just going to be Daughter. Yeah, we go for Daughter first. Okay. Stoic Rinse. Stoic. There's the reverb. Stoic. Okay. So we have to do the first reverb now. So we can start drawing with our persists. That's not really negotiable. But we do want to get more echo wall built up, like, as much as possible. So let's go ahead and circular the stoic. Might as well foresee the mind shatter. It's going to need to happen eventually. Start drawing. Should be a pretty easy additional zen entry here. Let's get rid of you. Persist. Persist. Now we can go better future, putting back these two. You don't need that. More echo wall, more echo wall. 
Not time for you, Mind Shatter. Get the counter down before we forget about it. Get the no condo down. And that was a very successful turn one, I would say. Off to a good start. The name of the game is really just to turbo out that reverb. Okay. Um, we don't need you. Get our nice healing off the enough suffering there. Oh boy. Start with stability. Not finding anything yet. Okay, blue persist is great. Get rid of that. We don't need it. There's the reverb. I want more echo wall if it can be helped though. So let's circular the blue persist. Foresight on the only expensive thing. Now let's hopefully not draw circular logic. Thank you. Get rid of you. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Dang it. Go ahead and get to the stoicism. Okay. That might just be fine, though. We haven't used the hand yet. Let's get rid of Mind Shatter. Because we can just go Zen again, and we will draw another card. So I'll do that. There it is. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Better future put back these two. Get rid of that. Stoicism. Purge. Stoicism. Purge. Rinse and repeat. Stoicism. Purge. Eight. Fatigue. Very nice. Plus the one that comes naturally. All right, so they're up to 12 on turn two. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We can definitely kill the daughter on this next turn now, I think. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, we'll use the foresight on the mind shatter to our advantage here. Um, the blue one is in there. Yes, okay, start with stability. Now it's time to get drawing. Goodbye, daughter. Rinse, you don't say. Okay, well, our hand is just like totally full of afflictions here. <laughs> uh, put back these two. We can ditch one of them for now. I guess we're not getting enough suffering quite yet. We will get there, though. Not gonna reverb here either. But again, we are gonna get back to another reverb. It will happen, I promise. In fact, let's just make it happen here. Put the reverb back. Slap some foresight on that bad boy. We will shuffle the deck next turn, so it's plus one echo wall from the no condo, minus the one that we lose just turn over turn, so it'll still be at four. As soon as we just draw with this persist. And we have the mirror guard too. That's pretty good. Throw away a stability here. Okay, let's be pretty aggressive about it here. Let's just go mirror guard, maneuver, then reverb. Persist kills you. Ditch the penitence. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Yes! Look at that! Here's what we're gonna do. Mind Shatter, while he's vulnerable from the E button. Rinse it back. Activate the Swarm. Hoo hoo hoo! How about that? Good damage. Put the Mind Shatter back. 4C the Mind Shatter. Mr. Void, your days are numbered. Your turns are numbered, in fact. You're gonna die next turn. Before you even get a chance to do a real attack. We didn't even play the Enough Suffering. You're out of here. Good fight. GG. Things got a little bit spooky for a minute there uh, after the Beast of Malice. But we pulled it together in the clutch, the reverb, the swarm. It all came together. 
Very nice. Yeah, look at that string of perfect fights there towards the end, huh? After we got the reverb. We just took five damage randomly to the Queen of Ages for some reason. <laughs> GG, though. Great run. We didn't have a ton of new stuff, but uh, we did get to make use of surprise attack a lot and this was one of my most disliked cards previously and it really put in some work this time so big props to surprise attack and this was also just a great showcase of the power of persist in the new starting deck for she these persists were so clutch man those did so much work very cool run i really liked doing uh monkey's paw eldritch blessing stuff that was a really fun interaction to play around and set up um, yeah, great run. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. That is going to do it for me today. 